For the guy that I was really good friends with um, and then started dating, this was actually all out of jealousy. So, and I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. So I was best friends with him. He liked me. I said, listen, no, we are best friends. Like, I don't wanna do that. Okay. Then he, over the summertime, he goes and find, finds himself a girlfriend, comes back to school, this was like in college, right. and starts dating her. I got super jealous and annoyed because I'm like, where did my best friend go? Like, this isn't cool. Like, I'm your girl, what? Oh, shit, night and I got a girl's number. Whatever. You asked for her number. I got her number, yes. I'm sick right now. <laughs> the story never changes. They neglect good guys and place them in the friend zone only to regret their decision and get jealous when he starts seeing another woman. And that's crazy that you admit that on screen, on TikTok. You losing. You decided to let that man go. Hey, I want to be with you. Nope. We're friends. We're not going to be doing that. Okay, I'll find some. <laughs> imagine. Can you imagine a man being so respectful and they keep it doesn't fit their narrative that men are always hunting them down, that men are creepers, that men can't take rejection, that men can't take no. This man was literally the definition of what men be telling them. This is what we do. Yeah, we don't like rejection, but you saying it like we just monsters out here and we just fall all over the place and we just go on a rampage. Yeah, there are some guys that do that and they shouldn't be doing that, but you're trying to lump us into one box and we're trying to tell you, no, we just go find somebody else, whoever it is. And if there's enough women that continue to say this, oh, don't approach, don't. Okay, fine, cool. I'm going to do my thing. But of course, it seems like y'all don't like it when men stop approaching y'all and they go do their thing. This is when they want to date him. Once you're friend zone, you're kind of stuck and you can get out. It's just, it's really hard to, especially like, especially from like a girl perspective. If you friend zone a guy, I almost think it's impossible to go the other way. Nope. We don't need to talk about this anymore because you decided that you didn't want to be with him. Now you're trying to tell us in a coping manner, rather, why you're jealous and you made the wrong decision. Just say, I really fumbled this and get on with your life. Let me share a story. I've friend zoned a guy and I've never seen him again. And then I've also been really good friends with the guy and then started dating him. So let me share both stories. For the guy, for the guy that I friend zoned, we were friends for such a long time and I knew that he liked me. And I told myself, I was like, you know, it's fun hanging out with him. Like, let's see what happens. Kind of give it a go. And we were friends for probably four or five years or something like that. And I think it was like the first year we were friends, he tried to like be with me essentially. And I was like, let's give it a go. So I was like, fine, why not? We went on a date when I, there were these like beautiful Christmas lights everywhere and he never kissed me. Like I was so annoyed. There was like this beautiful spot to kiss me. And I was like inside, I was like, does this guy like me? Like I thought like the day before he was being all flirty and stuff. And then I'm like, what? And we slept in the same bed too at night. And I'm all like, right. what is going on? And he never kissed me. So I was just like, whatever. At that, that moment in time, onward i never had that idea of liking him romantically really? because okay. he kind of like ruined that one moment that one opportunity right. and then i was like that's it i mean he might have been nervous you know that's a big step might have been waiting for the right well if we step in the same bed then i don't know that it would have been a no-brainer back in the day but now <laughs> you can literally get consent from a woman to be intimate with her and she can revoke said consent after the deed years decades after the deed in fact i know that sounds really stupid but in my head i was like that was the one shot and it almost felt like being rejected even though i didn't verbally tell him like kiss me it was just like if you felt it then you should have just done it you know and if you didn't feel it then maybe it was just meant to be so that was the one example and we were friends for like four or five years and i basically just told him like we shouldn't be friends anymore because it's not fair okay. to him because he really likes me All right. and i just i didn't want to do that to him so we are no longer even in contact he definitely didn't want to mess anything up and was unsure, and I don't understand why she didn't see that. If she felt it, why didn't she initiate it? But obviously I wish him the best, but it's just, it's not fair to either of us. Okay. For the guy that I was really good friends with um, and then started dating, this was actually all out of jealousy. So, and I'm gonna be so honest with you guys. So I was best friends with him. He liked me. I said, listen, no, we are best friends. Like, I don't want to do that. Then he you sa it sounds like you sabotaged yourself based on what happened with the last relationship. So instead of giving this guy a chance, you looked at, it sounds like to me, and I'm assuming here 
that last relationship where you friend zoned a guy and you say, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want that to happen again and ruin a relationship. I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to swear off doing this type of stuff. I mean, you could have given it a go. Over the summertime, he goes and find, finds himself a girlfriend, comes back to school. This was like in college and starts dating her. I got super jealous and annoyed because I'm like, where did my best friend go? Like, <laughs> this isn't cool. Like, I'm your girl. What? And so then I had to tell him, I'm like, listen, I caught feelings for you, but I don't want to break up your relationship. Turns out he was still in love with me and didn't even like the girl. It was just like a prop. And he ended up dumping her for me. And then we started. You're a trash person. You really are a trash person. You knew he was in a relationship with someone. And then you went at these modern women, they're trash. And they want a man to be loyal. They want a man to be faithful. Buy me these things, this car, this house, these diamonds, marry me, make a commitment. And you went in there and ruined it. Well, he loved me and he, he, he said he, she was just a prop. Shut up. Let the relationship go how the relationship is going to go. You don't know that man might've been like, man, I really liked her and I really do want her. I'm going to break up with you and go with her. Sucks that it hurts, but you know, I don't want to hurt you. Or that man could have been like, yeah, you know, I really used to like her. I, I was down bad. I really used to like have a the, the huge, the, the biggest crush on her. I used to have that. But, you know, after, you know, going with this woman, she seems like more my speed. So me and her are just friends. But you type of modern women because you can't stand to see the person not under your control and power went over there talking mess and messed up his relationship. Started dating, but then he turned into more of a probably more of an avoidant i would say but he started pulling away and he was just like this is too easy now he just like gave up on the relationship so i had to break up with him and mm. yeah <laughs> story time she had the opportunity to be his girlfriend but as Daddy. always wasn't interested only to get jealous when he started dating another woman i wonder why he was trying to avoid her after they started dating it seems like it wasn't what he expected i got a girl's number you asked for her number. I got her number, yes. I'm sick right now. You guys don't mind being in the friend zone and playing the long-term game, but other guys overdo it, which is the case of a guy who has been waiting in that spot for 10 years. He has been in the friend zone this long and still thinks it's a good strategy. Guys, we need to do better. This guy could have used this time to find himself a girlfriend, someone who is on the same page, but she is also taking him for granted. I bet she won't like it if he starts dating another woman. How long have you been friends? 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. 10, 10, going on 11 yeah. years. In that time period, have you never had feelings for each other? No, like he's been just a, such a great friend. So like I could. She's lying. Uh, look at the way they're they're dressed up. That That's a date. That's what that is. That's not a regular night out. That is a date, but she sees it as or she wants to see it as, oh man, I'm just chilling with my friend and I like to get nice. I like to feel like a girl. I like to feel feminine. I'm like a princess. And I have a friend that does that for me and I don't have to reciprocate. My man, I can only really blame this on you because you know what's happening. Get out of there. And like, see the other side of it. Could you ever see her being your wife one day? <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's right. a <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I mean, it's possible. So you wouldn't rule that out? I wouldn't we completely. We never thought about it. We, I'm never. No, you stop lying. You're lying. Y'all have, you know, that's why she's so, she's nervous. This is making her uncomfortable. Oh man, I don't know about the, no. Y'all have probably talked about this, discussed this. Why would you bold face lie? Ever a hundred percent thought about it. Um. <laughs> I mean, it's possible, but yeah. Look at her I, body language. She knows what he wants. We're friends. How come it's a possibility in your mind, but for you, you're like, I would just never look at him that way. We've been such good friends. I don't want to ruin Lying. the friendship. How could you ruin a friendship by getting closer? Well, you know, like when people take friendships into relationships, they're not meant to be in a relationship. They were always meant to be friends. So you always get deep <sighs> instead of just saying, I'm not interested in a dude and I'm going to leave you alone because I know you like me and I'm not going to waste your money. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm going to go down the street. But because she likes him as a friend and she wants to keep him there, then she won't say that.
just doesn't fit that box? No, I wouldn't say that because he fits all the boxes. Of course. Then why not move the relationship further? I never thought about it, honestly. Lying. We're in a friend zone with your ex. After a breakup, a lot of exes will ask you to be friends because they don't want to lose you completely after the breakup. It can be really tempting to say yes because you think that you can transition from friend to being back together, but it usually... That or they just don't like the icky feelings of finality. And so in order to sometimes make you feel better, knowing that they don't really want to be your friend, they'll offer friendship just so they can sleep better at night while your life is a wreck. Usually doesn't work. So here's how to get out of it and get back into a better position. It's best to be really direct in your communication. Just tell them that you want to be really authentic and that you have feelings for them still. Because of that, it's really difficult for you to just be their friend because again, you don't feel like you're being authentic with them. Then tell them that you need some space to heal and you don't think you guys should talk that much anymore. Exactly. But if they change their mind and actually want to work on the relationship like you do, they can reach out to you. If you fail to do this and stay their friend, they'll probably keep you around until they start dating someone else and then you'll be the first to go. Exactly. Don't do this to yourself. I know it might be tempting to do it, but don't. You don't need a friendship that bad. Your mental health means more than that. Don't be disrespected. Even though it's in a nice way, get out of there. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Until the next video, I'm out.